When a family receives a diagnosis, their child has a brain tumor, it is, it's obviously a game changer for that family. In the last few decades, pediatric oncology as a field has made a lot of progress on some childhood malignancies. So one example is leukemia, where we've gone from that being relatively incurable a century ago to now 90 plus percent of those children are having long-term survival. The focus of my lab primarily is on pediatric high-grade glioma and DIPG, which are tumors that are not uh, historically curable, and so we have a lot of um, progress still to make. Emerson, she is seven years old and has aggressive high-grade glioma in her thalamus. This is a tumor that uh, can't be removed and radiation helps, but it isn't curative. Our understanding of pediatric brain tumors is that they are caused by random errors that occur just as the brain and the brainstem develop, cells divide, all of that genetic material has to be duplicated. And every time that happens, there's a chance for error. And so pediatric cancers are different that way from adult cancers. And they are, especially in our younger patients, diseases of a defect in development. I really try to get that across to the family that this happened and it is 100% not your fault. So Sam is a patient I follow. He has a high-grade glioma. This is a tumor that has a less than 20% five-year survival. We don't have a treatment beyond radiation that has been proven to, to help. Our son, Sam, right now he's an 18-year-old high school senior, but when he was 14 and a freshman in high school, he was diagnosed with glioblastoma. Going into the fall of my freshman year, I was feeling really tired and I was never really sick, but I had double vision. From doctor to doctor, and nobody knew what it was, so they finally told us to go get an MRI to get it checked out, and that's when they found the tumor. I had brain surgery the next day. The family looked into Optune, and this is a wrap that patients have to wear 18 hours out of the day, and it, it provides an energy that, when aimed at the tumor bed, affects cells and their ability to divide. He's now been on that therapy, targeting his tumor bed for um, three years, and uh, we, we don't have any evidence that the tumor has grown back. Sam is a, is a, you know, he's one patient, but he's a, a success story of, we're using localized and targeted therapies that aren't gonna affect his ability to grow, grow muscle, learn in school, be in, you know, be on the basketball team. He has very high quality of life. He's beat all the odds. He is literally 40 months post-diagnosis on a diagnosis that typically lasts 12 to 18 months. So, we are seeing that by doing things a little differently, by thinking outside of the box, by expanding our horizons, by asking questions, that we can actually affect the outcome.